Hey, what's happening, everybody? Tommy C here. Shot from the Point News. By now, you know what famous YouTuber, local influencer Christian has been accused of. John Tron, famous YouTuber, well over a million subs, says the normies are about to wake up to a magical day. And that's right. The mainstream media is now covering this. I think this has come up from Stephen A. Sarcher's reporting, Insider from Cat Tembridge, and this will continue to go up the chain. This story is far, far from over, from being over, and I think there's going to be implications for social media uh, going forward in the years to come. I think this will be a case uh, that makes YouTube and other social media sites take action. But that being said, the arrest was caught live on the kiln stream by Ethan Ralph. And we got a clip for you right here, right now, uh, and take you when to the moment it happened. Hey, officers. How's it going? Good. I just saw you. Yeah, that's right. That's you. Oh, my God. Sorry about that, guys. I told you. Is the car alive? Is the car alive? You are. I think so. Yeah, you, you appear to be compliant. Your goddess blue heart, and I continue to stand strong and I maintain everything with quick fill and my side shoes and road shoes and everybody. Yeah, you're lying to about 3,000 people right now, Christian. How do you believe? Well, don't. You're taking everything in stride. You said you're doing good? Yeah, I keep a good faith. Everything is going to work out. Doing good, feeling good? Well, How's the last few days been? I know it's been pretty stressful. Loves. Well, that's like good. Josh Moon, did, like, did you dirty? Oh, well, that, just the one thing. That's a pin. Feel free. Just go ahead and take it. I have a picture of muffins for my little pony. Love quest is over. As you can see here, uh, Christian has the, uh, objectively has the mentality of an eight year old. And um, this is, um, look, essentially uh, what I do um, for a living which I don't have a problem with, is a tabloid, a modern internet version of, of tabloid news uh, mixed in with shock jocks of old, um, Stern, Opie, and Anthony, and what have you. And I, I don't expect um, you to take what I have to say seriously. Um, it, there, there'd be no reason for it. But what I'm about to say is... While it might make me a hypocrite, and I'll take that criticism, and it's completely legitimate, just because I'm hypocritical, I don't think what I'm about to say is any less true. What which you're seeing right here, and this is coming from somebody who's exploited the situation, has made financial gain in the situation, as I have many times before with many other dramas. But this one is different for obvious reasons. We have a seriously mentally disabled man uh, who's uh, allegedly taking care of his mother that has the uh, emotional capacity of an eight-year-old. And I, I, I don't know, I don't know how this could happen. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Would somebody, uh, rightly or wrongly, uh, has had their life and their family life documented to the extent that Christian has? Um, I, I don't, I don't understand how Virginia lets this slide. I don't know how social services, um, allows a, uh, 30 some odd year old man with the mental capacity of an eight year old, uh, take care of his mother. I, I mean, I, I can't, I can't see how anything good could come of it. And I, I don't understand how he's been overlooked. I, 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 I actually have trouble uh, pointing what, what should be easy and obvious blame on the perpetrator because of his mental capacity or her. Please don't bog me down with that bullshit. But I mean... Where was the state? This this was the responsibility of the state. And it was allowed to fester after this man's father died. And it ended up in a just horrible, tragic situation. 
So why it might be easier for you to say, and, and maybe it's your way of coping. This is, I guess this is my way of coping. You know, give this guy the electric chair. I, 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 I would think, and I'm not one of these people that thinks the state should get involved with anything, that this right here is one of the examples where I'm wrong and the state should get involved. Eight-year-old children should not be in charge of 80-year-old women. I understand that he can drive. I understand that there are some things, but one thing that's abundantly clear, he can't take care of himself. And I, I know what you're thinking, and I and I get it. Like, who do you think you are, Tommy C? Uh, you did um, what everybody else did. Well, one thing I didn't do, and one thing I was never a part of, was his trolling community. And I, I think, I, I, I have a feeling, as this story goes mainstream, I think things like that will probably be broken up uh, in the future. Or uh, things that don't mildly represent Christian's role, uh, trolling community will be broken up unfairly because they're labeled as such. This is, th th this is um, horrifying. I'm not going to change my show. I'm not doing anything different. I shouldn't have to. But I, you know, this is my platform, and I can say what I want. And if I want to, you know, like lay lay the act low, then that that's entirely and completely up to me. And uh, if you don't like it, you know, go fuck yourself. Um. But th this is this is this is this is terrible. There's no way around it. No matter what a jerk I am, uh, this is terrible. And and yes, it, I I I put the blame squarely on social services, which my experience in the United States and in Germany has been absolutely horrible. Horrible. It, it, they seem to find the lowest of the low, the most incompetent of the incompetent to have this very, very important job that nobody that has a heart seems to want or a grain of intelligence either. And some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. People that have grown up in divorces where CPS has gotten involved. They usually did more harm than good. Or in some cases where I grew up in New Jersey, where minorities would be allowed to beat, torture, and sometimes kill their children, just didn't get involved. They would only seem to get involved in the middle class and upper class kids where they would let minorities wither on the vine. I put this squarely on social services. How could they let probably the most documented person in the history of the internet slip through the cracks? Now, I don't know if anything can be done about the trolling community or anything else without invading on free speech, free expression. Certainly, Unwittingly, Christian has made himself a public figure, which is tragic. And I don't know the solution to this. I honestly don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do but laugh and joke about it. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing. One of the people in my comments put, I guess this is our way of coping. Maybe it is. I don't much feel like grandstanding. But I guess I am now. I don't want to give you some kind of like, like this is some kind of phony outrage. This is outrageous. And I don't know if I can blame a, an eight-year-old. Th th this is where the state supposedly comes in. They used to do it years ago. A doctor could put you in a hospital. Those years are long gone. Nobody talks about that. When you, when you have mass shootings all over, the, all over the country. Oh, by the way, we don't have them in Europe. They can lock you up if you show these types of signs. They don't need, they don't need that much. And I understand the, the danger of it, the slippery slope of it. Then you have doctors putting people in, in, in mental institutions. And then, you know, we have a, a Ken Casey situation with Nurse Ratchet. But if that is more than likely the exception of the rule, maybe it's time to to look at this situation and, and start giving doctors a little more power and bring, bring back 
asylums, but only this time have them have an ounce of uh, humanity. I mean, is that impossible? Do, do all asylums have to be just a place we can't put people that like we, we put people that can't be put in prison? Some people belong there, unfortunately. They've been, they've been dealt a horrible, horrible hand in life. And they're a danger to themselves and everybody else around them, but they don't necessarily fit the, the they, they don't necessarily fit in with a criminal element of the prison population. So I don't know. And I, I, like, again, I, I get it. Like, you know, who, who the hell are you? And, and, and you, I don't know if you're wrong, but I don't know if I'm tell, not telling the truth right now. And if somebody wants to uh, call me up on my podcast and explain why I'm wrong. I'm all ears. I'll hear you out. But yeah, I, I, I have a serious, serious problem with the lack of intervention when in this case, it's so clear. And then I've grown up and I've watched the Huguenot. I've watched... CPS, I've watched Dyfus in New Jersey get involved in things that they clearly shouldn't. But this this was allowed to happen. And I don't think Virginia is much different than California than it is in Nova Scotia than it is in Berlin. They seem to be the same types of people across the board. Politically driven. And, and they only do what's safe. And the path of least resistance. I know why you won't help a black kid that's being beaten senseless. I know exactly why. Because you try to take their kids away, the whole neighborhood would kill you. And I know why it's so much easier to take a white kid away from his family. Because the odds of that go way down. A lot of you in divorced families know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, call me a hypocrite all you want. Something tells me if a doctor got involved, this wouldn't have happened. I think that's fair. Now, I do realize that I've only given you examples of youth social services, not social services for adults and or people with disabilities. But I, I seriously don't, um, I can't imagine the humanity, the competence uh, is much better. Again, I've lived in several states uh, in different countries, and I've talked to people from, from you know, England and Ireland, and it, it seems to be the same story across the board. I mean, the social services tend to be just the worst in, in, in every situation. I want to share a tweet with you that, that Vito put out there. And um, I, I, I found this kind of, in a way, crushing, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, uh, Gator wrote, uh, who's also a part of the Kill Streamers, uh, imagine how different things would be if someone went back in time and changed who won that contest. And Vito replied, I think about that every single day. This is a picture when, while I don't know if it's accurate, and I don't even know that Gator wasn't joking around, um, Christian Chandler, uh, when he was a boy, uh, won a uh, contest, I think it was in Toys R Us, had something to do with video games or, or, or Sonic the Hedgehog or something like this in the late 90s. Um, and this was his first exposure to uh, mass media. And I think what Gator is trying to say is if this didn't happen, maybe we wouldn't have gone down that path. I don't know. He probably would have got internet either way. Um, but it does kind of make you wonder. And, and, I, and I'm just crushed to see this, this clip or, or this screenshot from that particular event that was covered on television, a boy. This is just a boy here. This is somebody's everything. This was Barb's everything at one point. And it is just tragic that this child was allowed to grow up the way he did. I know I could probably, you know, point a certain amount of blame, friends, families, the trolling groups, the heartless people um, that have uh, certainly contributed to this. But at the end of the day, I do want you to remember, I'm not asking for 
for empathy for a horrible crime. I want you to sort of remember that this was a boy at one time, a, a, a boy with severe autism that, that, that doesn't understand the way things worked. And unfortunately, the hand that he was given, this boy would remain right up until his 40th birthday in that same body. 